of those girls are out on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> you mean the girls dressed in the, uh, sometimes hot pants and kind of short skirts? No. I, those are sorority girls. Are they? Yeah. 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 Just a sorority man. They're here on a convention. Yeah. I think the sorority is Phi Delta Rash. <laughs> Kimball, does Ed really drink a lot? <laughs> well, what would you say? It's all relative. <laughs> a lot to somebody might not be a lot to me. Well, let me, let's see if I can put this in perspective. Yes. Uh, you donated blood to the Red Cross. Yes. And you were turned down because your blood had a head on it. That's a good one. <laughs> Does that kind of answer the question? Lonnie, last name is L-I-D-E-N. What's first name? Connie. Connie. Lydon or Lydon? Lydon. Where are you from, Connie? Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. <laughs> I want to move to California. Do you have room in your mansion for me? <laughs> There's no room in my mansion for me. <laughs> you. <laughs> this must be Jim's wife. Marie? Martone? Are you, are you together? Sister. Yeah. How did you make it to the top, and was it worth it? What would you say? Hard work, mm -hmm. uh, perseverance, and I have uh, several Polaroids of uh, Grant Tinker at an Air Force smoker. <laughs> Grant Tinker is the president yes. of, uh, of our company. Richard Mahoney. Good handwriting. Yeah, I'm a fifth grade teacher from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Right, Richard? What advice would you have for my class this fall? Fifth grade would be about nine, ten years old? Ten or eleven. Never accept a ride in an automobile made entirely of hair. Good advice. <laughs> Peggy Blas Blasick? Blasick, I'm Blasick. sorry, Peggy. Have you ever... Boy, what a weird question. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Ed was, but they, uh, they released him. You were grossing them out, remember? <laughs> Bill Henning. Where are you, Bill? Right here. Right here. That's the way, Bill. That's it. <laughs> Bill's a salesman. I just sold a manuscript for a book on the trolley cars of Detroit to a California publisher. It has no sex. How could I get on your program to promote it? <laughs> well, we'll cancel the uh, Victoria Principal Christie Brinkley mud wrestling spot. <laughs> we got a man here who wrote a book on the, the trolley, trolley cars, cars of Detroit. Sure. Let's cancel those two women. <laughs> you have any idea what my husband and I do while we watch you? <laughs> safe to rule out miniature golf, I suppose. <laughs> Roger Olson? Where are you, Roger? Roger. Robert, I'm Robert. sorry, Robert. Gee. Roger. <laughs> Maybe two of them. Is, is, is there a Roger Olson, too? Yeah. How about a Robert Olson? Yeah. Did you fill out a card, uh, Robert? Yeah. Well, this is Roger's card. <laughs> Roger seems to be steamed here. He says, why couldn't I bring my camera inside? Johnny, if it gets stolen in an, inside NBC's locked cabinet, I'll never laugh at your jokes again. <laughs> you fell for the old locked cabinet? <laughs> you got it. Do we have a locked cabinet here? <laughs> we do tonight. <laughs> Remember last week? A sure. Guy gave his wife to a page thinking he was, you know. I, I guess they do have. Uh, yeah. Why don't they allow cameras in the studio? Electronic problems. I see. Flash, you know, sets we'll off, does something with the cameras here. It's a long question. Yeah, Kathy V, New Jersey. Yeah. What? Via. Via? Via? <laughs> it's V-E-E. -E. 
How do you pronounce it? Well, it's Bakusich. Excuse me? It's Bakusich, but I doubt you could say it. <laughs> well, it says Kathy V E E. Well, I abbreviated for you. Make it easy. What is it normally? V E E E? Kathy Vukovic? Well, close. That's close. Okay. <laughs> My mother watches you every night. every night. She wrote you once telling you how much she liked you and you never answered. <laughs> she wrote you again and you never answered. You're breaking her heart. <laughs> I'm sorry, please write her say hello to her. What, her name is Rose? Yes. Is she watching tonight? Yes, she will be. Once I call her. <laughs> In other words, if you don't call mom, she hits the pearly whites and goes to bed. <laughs> okay, Rose. Rose is her name, right? Yeah. Is her name Rose V? <laughs> uh, same, same as yours. Okay. Which in your name your wildest fantasy? That's Laura Cole. Let's get some. Yeah. I don't know if I But should. you haven't. Tell them. Go ahead. Well, we all have fantasies, sure. but you don't. Yeah. Some things are per personal and, yeah. and intimate. It involves five um, Asian girls. <laughs> And a forklift truck. Uh, no, I don't. I just uh, something silly like that. Those are strange questions. We have a good show tonight. You're picking up something. Yes. I'm just this, trying to help you. Is this for me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you got it. The rabbit, the rabbit ears on this bottle are from the undercover rabbits, and they're new from Seven Seas Creamy Parmesan. Right there. My partner and I were investigating the lettuce shortage and a new dressing from Seven Seas. Phew, that was close. I see it. New Seven Seas Creamy Parmesan Dressing. Creamy Parmesan? With real Parmesan cheese. Imagine the taste. Authentic Parmesan cheese in a creamy, smooth dressing. New Seven Seas Creamy Parmesan. We're caught. So say something. With New Seven Seas Creamy Parmesan... Our lettuce shortage may never end. I admit it, the love of my life is pastrami, smoked turkey, deli-style ham. So, how do I help keep my lean lines lean? These are Lewis Rich deli-style cold cuts. And they're 95% lean because they're made from the naturally lean meat, turkey. So I can enjoy the deli without the belly. Crab leg lovers, your ships come in. It's Red Lobster's Create Your Own Crab Legs and Seafood Platter. Start with steaming crab legs. Then add any one of ten seafood favorites. Crab legs and fried shrimp. Crab legs and stuffed flounder. Even crab legs and juicy langostinos. The choice is yours. But hurry, this special offer ends August 28th. Red Lobster's Create Your Own Crab Legs and Seafood Platter. Create yours tonight. Beautiful savings during Dillard's August Home Sale. Save as much as 50% and more on quality labels including Spring Made, Martex, Wamsutter, J.P. Stevens, and Fieldcrest. Luxury sheets with romantic accents, plush towels and dazzling colors, rich Burlington woven classics, Johnson Brothers Fine English Ironstone, striking Mikasa dinnerware. Beautiful savings, as much as 50% and more during Dillard's August Home Sale. Thank you. We are back. John Davidson is here tonight. Cindy Cochran from Signing. Uh, my first guest tonight is from Richardson, Texas, where she completed the 26-mile, uh, plus, I guess, some yards, Dallas White Rock Marathon. Uh, it's not particularly newsworthy, except for the fact that she set a new age group record. She's 10 years old. Would you welcome Mary Jack Witherspoon. Mary? <laughs> That's what I like, affection. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm fine. That's good. Good, thank you. <laughs> Did I call you Mary? Mary Jack or what? Mary Jack. Mary Jack. That's an unusual name, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty name. How are you? Fine. Whereabouts is Richardson, Texas? Is that um, a big town? 
Sort of. It's sort of. No. Um, it's near. It's near Dallas. Near Dallas. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Was this your first marathon? Yeah. Yeah. How long did it take you? How many? How many people were in the marathon? Um, three thousand people finished. Three thousand people finished. Yes. Now I said twenty-six miles. It's actually a little longer than twenty-six miles, isn't it? A marathon. Well, yeah. Yeah, and a, and a few yards, I guess. Now you were the youngest person. Youngest female. Youngest female. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you're female, all right. I know that. <laughs> uh, to finish the race, what was your time? Five hours, three minutes, and 40 seconds. That's very good. I'm not much of a runner myself. It seems to be the thing the last few years in this country, jogging and, and people are entering marathons now. And Why do you run? Because I'd like to. Yeah? I'm pretty good. Well, you are, you're very good at it. <laughs> Thanks. When did you find out you were pretty good at it? I guess when I was about eight. When you were about eight? Nine. Nine. Probably nine. Probably nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told me you got a pretty good giggle on you. Uh, what's the first race? How did you start well, running in a marathon? It's kind of unusual for somebody your age. Mm -hmm. At first, I was just going to run the first 13. Mm -hmm. and did you say the first 13, the first 13 miles? Yes. With my friend, and encouraged my friend Emily Ward along. Yeah. And then two days before the marathon, my dad told me that if I wanted to, I could. And so yeah. I said that I'd love to. Right. And so Saturday came and he said that if I didn't feel good, that I could just drop out at 13. And I felt fine. So I just told my dad to come on. And he came on and we started. He rode his bike the rest of the way and I ran. Good. So your dad was riding a bike yes. while you were doing the running. Right. <laughs> so you got to 13 miles, that's halfway. Uh -huh. And he said if you didn't feel like it, you didn't have to finish, but you felt pretty good then, huh? Yes. Did your dad ride along with you the rest of the race? Yes. What did he tell you to, to keep you going? Did he kind of... He told me that um, he kept on complaining that his bottom was hurting from the seat. <laughs> But your dad didn't know you were going to tell me that either, did you? <laughs> uh, what kind of races had you been in before, before you'd been in a marathon? You just don't start as a, your first time as a marathon runner, do you? No. Um, I had ran mostly 10Ks, and I had ran the, third, the half marathon at White Rock Lake, uh -huh. and mostly just 10Ks. Ten, that's 10 kilometers, right? Right. Yeah. So you really like to run? Yes. Isn't there, isn't there a terminology that runners call, they get to a point where they call uh, hitting the wall or something like that? Yeah. And what is, exactly does that mean? Oh, it's when you, well... Just like exhaustion, you can't seem yeah. to go any further? Yeah. And you have to kind of go, go through that particular moment? Mm-hmm. So, so I had to stop and walk. You stopped and walked for a while? Yeah. When yeah. I got to, I ran all the way until I got to 18. 18 miles? Mm-hmm. And then I stopped and walked and ran the rest of the way. And then when I got to three miles, well, three miles into the, where you finish, right. I ran the rest of the way. That's very good, though. What do you think about when you're running? There's a lot of things, you got a lot of time. Just think that every step I take is closer to the finish line. <laughs> That's a very good attitude. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You know, you, you eat anything? Uh, anything special? They say runners now eat a lot of carbohydrates and pasta and stuff like that to build up. Well, in the race, when I got to about 21 miles, my dad got some oranges for me yeah. from this lady, and she went out to the car to get it. Yeah, your dad was probably glad to get off the bike anyway about that. <laughs> yeah. So you had a little food. Mm -hmm. Now, they say running is a good way to meet, well, fellow, a lot of fellows run to meet girls. Now they say a lot of girls, you know, you meet a lot of people.